I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. Albino. What? No, I'm a vampire. Do you not see the white skin? Ooh, white skin. That could be a mistake for albino. Awkward. Hey guys, Jessie here. Today I want to do a Breaking Dawn Part 1 movie review. I loved it. I haven't said that about any of the movies. I'm a really, really big fan of the books, but all the movies haven't done the books justice but this one did. It kept my attention. All the camera angles were amazing. The acting was still, it was better. I've got mixed feelings about the director for Breaking Dawn. I like the director who directed Twilight. It was more of an independent film and I really like that kind of feel in movies. But this one had amazing graphics and amazing dynamics. So, you know, both of them are very good. I also had these people sitting behind me and they were a couple seats over and they were putting their feet up on the chairs and they were shaking their legs. It was like, shaking my chair! I'm like, the sex scene seems so real. What? <laughs> like, I would know. I love the wedding scene. That was so beautiful. I loved her shoes. Like, I just wanted to steal them. And the whole ceremony was just really pretty. <laughs> the honeymoon wasn't what I expected it to be. I don't know why I pictured Esme's Island to be smaller. I don't know why I pictured that, but that's how I pictured it. But it was still, it was very well done. Like, oh, it was so beautiful. Like, I want to go stay at that house. It's so pretty. I knew they were going to end it where they did, but it was, it was disappointing. You, I don't want to, I don't want to share anything, but to me it was disappointing, but yet I knew where they were going to cut it off because it's obvious. But it was, it was a really good ending though. Renesmee's cute. I guess I was watching an interview and I guess it was a, like a animatronic doll, which is, that'd be so weird. Why can't they just have a real baby? But I guess real babies, they cry and bah, annoying. I recommend the movie 100%. I would give it four out of five stars. Really good, really, really good. I don't wanna give away too much. I've probably already said too much. People are gonna be like, you gave it away. Why did you do that? But, oh well. So, go see it. Now, I went at, <laughs> I went at 10.30 in the morning on a Monday, and it was packed. But it was in like a smaller theater, but it was crowded. And it was old ladies. Not old ladies, like middle-aged ladies. Like, that's, who goes and sees Twilight at 10.30 in the morning on a Monday? I felt like I was at another Twilight convention. You guys know I've met most of the Twilight cast, right? Well, not most of them. Quite a few. I've met Peter Facinelli, uh, Eddie Gathigi, uh, Kellen Lutz, uh, the guy that plays Jacob's dad, I don't know his real name, uh, the girl who plays Angela, let's see who else have I met, uh, Jackson Rathbone, oh I've met most of the wolf pack too, I don't have pictures with them because at conventions you have to pay to meet and to get autographs, so I just kind of talked to them anyway when we were going through the autograph line, so you know I don't have any pictures with them but it happened. You guys want to see some pictures? There's Jackson to Jesse. Much love. There's Eddie Gathigi, Mormon with little fangs on his signature. I wanted it to say Black Mormon because if you've seen House, you know he was on season four of House. And that's how I recognized him. I recognized him in Twilight. And when I went up and then met him, I was like, can you say that as Black Mormon? And he laughed because he, he knew exactly what I was talking about. And he's like, Black's a little racist, so I'll just sign it Mormon. And I asked him about Hugh Laurie, and he's like, he's a uh, white Michael Jordan. I guess, really tall, I guess, is what he meant. But it was really cool meeting someone from the house cast because I'm such a big fan of the house show. This was Peter 2010, and then Peter 2011. I have a funny story about this picture. So. I'm waiting in line to get my picture with him, and then I finally, I get up and I shake his hand. And he's like, I'm going to spin you. So he spins me around and he pulls me into that position. I was in heaven. I about died. And then here's my signature. It says, to Jesse, happy 17th birthday. Don't get a paper cut. Love, Dr. Colin Peter Facinelli. I love him. So go see it. Now, 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 now. Go see it tomorrow, today, right now. Go. Go see it. Bye, guys. Hello.